enjoy my video. This is the intro now. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, welcome back. Today is Friday or Saturday. It's one of the days. I think it's Saturday. All right, today is Saturday, and I got my passes for Baltane. Once I find the boxes, I can start up scrimmage. Now we'll all see what that is like. I mean, I've I've seen it. I've done it like forty-five times plus. Uh, let's get out a pet. No, not team. Aggro might be the best choice for this. And another good choice is having a pair of guns. All right, let's do this. Baltane mission, scrimmage, elite please. Yes. March song to help speed us up. All right, I already know what to do, so I won't read those out, but I'll tell you. You pick your squires that you want, and I think it goes on how strong your squires are in general, but I'm not sure about that, so play around with that if you want. But Kana, Logan, and Dai are my good ones because they're the only ones I've like, decided to use, <laughs> Kana and Logan being the basics. Um, occupy command post, occupy training grounds, and occupy the infirmary. These are the ones you want to do. Allied Her Headquarters is this... Thing right behind me so when you do command post and training grounds and infirmary as I said before you can go over to infirmary and start you know handling the monsters there the reason being is that if you get rid of the infirmary ones they won't like respawn the one that's at command post I'll show you in a bit if you see from afar all those dudes running over if you defeat command post, it stops them from trying to take over your area. And if you get it to 100% at the side over there where it says Allied Headquarters, then you lose the Shadow Mission. There's other ways you can lose it, but just try not letting them take advantage of you trying to help out, you know, your teammates. Way down there, you know what, I'll just go over there once I get rid of these. Come on, get on. Over here, the uh, this this is the command post, right? If th if you get rid of all the monsters here, like get it up to a hundred percent, then that's how you stop the enemies from running into your area. All right, quick side note for me over here. I keep referring to the NPC cr creatures. Look, I'm already doing it as monsters, but these are people too. NPC people. And over here, training grounds, it's just a power level of the monsters. I, I generally don't pay attention to this one. Because, you know what, once you stop them from spawning, you basically won the game anyway. And that's why you want to stick to infirmary. At least that's my opinion on it. See, command post is already done, so I don't have to worry about them spam, uh, spawning anymore, but... Like, to, to, uh, the, the, to, uh, I don't even know how to speak. Anyways, to getting, you know, running down the areas to your main area. There, there we go. To stop them from going to your main area. So the allied headquarters. And the way that gets damaged is if those guys are still spawning, then they, uh, they start increasing how much that rate goes. And to make it go down, you just kill them. This part is the second part. As long as you're not mounted to your pet, your pet won't de-summon. But over here you wanna... It's just a monster kill. That's why having your pet on aggro is good. For me, it's just final hit, but you can also use guns or whatever you want. As long as you can kill the group. It's just to get the big guy coming out. And... Zabak! The big guy I was talking about literally not a second ago. <laughs> and yeah, that was scrimmage. It's really easy. Uh, it's one of my favorite ones to do too. 
And if you haven't done Valtain missions before and you wanted to give this a shot over and over again and just have the basics, it's after 6 a.m. Mobby time that you can reset and go in. But with Elite Passes, if you didn't already know, it's unlimited, babies. <laughs> Let's get this chest. Did I get anything good? Nah. It does give a nice amount of gold. That's like 100k right there. But yeah, that was scrimmage. Get out of my way, pet. Enjoy. Anyway, feel free to leave a comment down below. Leave a like. Share it with whoever, if, you know, whatever reason you want to share this video for. If you want to say to your friends, Hey, look, this guy did this thing, and now we can do it too. Or, hey, maybe we can do it better than him. This guy. That, that's supposed to be like a swear in between there. Anyway. Why do I have double glasses? What's what's the point of this outfit if my glasses are gonna be on my clothing and then on my head? Why, why do I need two? Okay, anyways, till the next!